Hello there! Welcome back to Corpse Factory! Where... Stuff happened. <laughs> God, your fingers are bony. You're pinching me. Of course. Sorry. I let go of her wrist, and she rubs it gently against her clothes. Anyway, what's up? I hesitate for a moment. Even though I ran through this scenario in my head during the train ride, I'm so anxious about playing it out now. But this situation involves Tomoe either directly or indirectly. As my friend, she needs to know. I think Corpse Girl is going to target Kotomi Ida. Huh. Huh? Did you get one of them photos? Her reaction is fairly indifferent. I thought after being involved uh, in Tatsuki, Tatsumaki's death, this news would have made would have more. Uh, this news would have more of, of an impact on her. Well, no, I don't think so. But how do you know then? That's hard to explain. Just bear with me. Kotomi and Shinya had a falling out. Because of her, his career here is at an end. I'm sure he told you about it. Huh. Yep. That makes sense. Shinya would confide in his, in his girlfriend about his career, but I don't know the extent of Tomoe's inside knowledge. I doubt she knows the true nature of her relation of their relationship. Judging by how nonchalant her reaction has been so far, that could be either be a good or a bad thing. I'm gonna immediately go with the bad thing. So, if you can kind of guess what I'm getting at, what? I think maybe that Shinya requested her death. <laughs> Shinya? Nah, he don't have it in him. Okay. Besides, that bitch has it coming. Okay. She does? Yep. I'm surprised you found out about it, but I plugged her photo into Corpse Girl's website yesterday. Good. I'm stunned. I can hardly for formulate a response to Tomoe's confession. <laughs> Absolute skank. She deserves to die. I'm <laughs> betting the receptionist at the desk is like, the fuck are those two talking about? <laughs> are they plotting something? <laughs> Why? After you requested Akane Tsurumaki's death, why would you- Look, it's not about Shinya's career, alright? I spoke with him, real deep and meaningful-like. Okay. He confided in me, but since we're friends, I suppose I can share it with you. Shut Kotomi Ida has been sexually assaulting him. Seriously? Good. Talk to mouse over there. You, you ruined the moment, mouse. <laughs> I for I forgot. I for for an I a surprise reaction. In reality, I'm just more taken aback about that Shania actually confided to Tomoe. It's been going on for months, he says, and now she's fucked his career up, so he'll have no choice but to leave the company. Huh. He leaves. And she gets off free without anyone finding out about what she's been doing to him. Yeah. I hate her. I hate her so fucking much. Perfectly reasonable. <laughs> I try to digest uh, uh, Tomoe's words. I didn't know that Shinya has been putting up with this abuse for such a long time. So, Kotomi's motive for ending his career was purely out of self-interest. She was probably looking for a reason, any reason, to discard him. And that slight incident with Aoi was just good enough for her to seize. Good. If he quits the company, she won't get found out. It's simple. It's a simple plan, but utterly 
the boys. It's the boys. We should tell someone what she's been doing. She can't get away with that. But she's a higher up. There's a good chance they'll just go, yeah, let's just go with her. Kind of thing. She ain't gonna get away with it. Kotsuko's coming for her, remember? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to hear the news about Kotomi winding up dead somewhere. I hope she gets her throat slit. Eh. <laughs> yeah. But hey, how did you find out about it? Just a gut feeling. Just a gut feeling. <laughs> Tomoe cocks her head and gives me a crooked look. I brace myself as I watch the gears slowly turning inside her head, waiting for her to point the finger at me. I didn't know why I thought it was a good idea to reveal this information to Tomoe. I should have just kept my mouth shut and fulfilled the request like always. Damn it. Why does it why does my curiosity always get the better of me? I'm going to ch cause my own demise at any at the rate I'm going. Hmm. Oh, I figured it out. Kotomi must have received a photo and told you about it, huh? You know what? Let's go with that option. <laughs> wow. That corpse girl sure worked fast. Good. Sure. Getting away scot free. For now. <laughs> Toy's gleeful expression suddenly curves into. curves in a. and she gasps. Wait a minute. Why would she even show you something like that? That's a good question. <laughs> Shit, she's going to... She's adding the math together. I think about it. There was that time you got a photo, but nothing happened to you. Then... The only way you could have really known about Kotomi is... I flinch as Tomoe takes a purposeful step towards me. You're a corpse girl, aren't you? Hey, I only saw the shit that happened early, uh, last time. I, you can't blame this on me, can you? <laughs> you have to be. It's the only thing that makes sense. I'm just gonna go with dumb luck. <laughs> That's how I survive everything else. I avert my gaze and look at the floor in silence. God, are you for real? I can't believe it. You took your sweet time figuring it out. Don't give me that bullshit. You can't expect me to figure out something like that if you're gonna try so hard to hide it. Uh, debatable. What the fuck, girl? You get your rocks off by killing people? No, not exactly. I don't kill people. The hell you don't! Explain that bitch to Umaki. She killed herself. Okay. Yeah, she killed herself. That's the cover-up, right? I'm serious. She killed herself. But... Kotsuko encouraged her to do it. Tomoe blinks a few times. Her face crunching up and analyzing my blank expression. You're telling the truth. Yep. Holy shit. I can't believe this. Are you really corpse girl? I'm betting the frickin' uh, receptionist is still questioning what the fuck's going on. <laughs> There's no going back now after hiding my true identity for nearly a year. I've managed to reveal it to people in less than 24 hours. I just hope I haven't made a fatal mistake. I'm Corpse Girl. <laughs> wow, fuck me, right? All this time I've been thinking you're just some goth skank with weird hobbies. Shit. <laughs> but you're actually pretty fucking cool. You're actually doing something with your life. Huh? I... I, I thought you'd be angry with me. 
Angry? Why would I be angry? God, this is the coolest thing that's ever happened to me. Huh. I wasn't expecting- I wasn't exactly expecting this to happen, but... You know what? I'll fucking go with it. Got me slightly off guard. <laughs> Friends with fucking corpse girl. And people said I'd never amount to nothing. Huh. Though it took me long enough to figure it out. I ain't the sharpest light bulb in the shed. Okay. I can't argue with that. Tell my laugh and put her puts her arms around my shoulders. I shrink a little, uh, oh, shrink a away a little bit. But her good cheers is somewhat infectious. I feel a flood of ref relief washed through my body. Good. So, like, I gotta know, how many people have you killed? Not a lot. I said I don't kill people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. How many have offed themselves because of you? It's an embarrassingly small number. Okay. That's so? Oh, that's a shame. Listen, you gotta fill me in on all the juicy deets later, Kay. For now, please focus on getting rid of that bitch Kotami. Oh, that's gonna be a fun one. <laughs> so many options. <laughs> Do my best. Thanks, slut. Shinya and I will owe you one for sure. Tomoe swings around and looks towards the elevator. She turns back and gives me a thumbs up gesture. This convo never happened. Got it? I heard nothing. <laughs> That's my line. You can't tell anyone about me and Corpse Girl. Please, who would I tell? <laughs> a couple of people. <laughs> well, the police, for starters. What is this thing you call the cops? <laughs> Fuck them. I ain't a squealer. I'm on your side, corpse girl. Relax. Anyway, peace. Hey, unless there's uh, some damn good money involved in a free and a free ticket out of there. <laughs> Don't worry, ducks away and leaves me standing alone. I really hope I made the right decision here. I suppose I don't have a choice but to keep moving forward. My first order of business should be taking care of Chikotomi Ida. Yes. <laughs> if I can get her to kill herself, I'll, it'll prove to Tomoe that I'm not messing around. And it might commit our friendship even further. Cool. I just have to go through the rest of my work, the rest of the workday. Then I can return home and focus on crafting Coach Me's corpse photo. That's when I, when the real fun will begin. Okay. I reach into the drawer and clench a cheap plastic hammer, uh, burner phone between my fingers. Crafting the photo of Coach Mita is done. All I need to do now is send it. And she'll never know the difference. <laughs> I thought about waiting until tomorrow, but I already put it off making the photo for a day, so I'll make my move tonight. During editing, I timestamp the photo with tomorrow's date, 10.46 a.m. It doesn't leave much time for Coach Me to, uh, if, yeah, time if Coach Me receives the photo tonight. But I'm confident the plan will be effective. Coach me will look at the photo tonight. She'll either freak out and 
end it all immediately or after a sleepless night of anxiety to put the trigger fortunately speaking instead instead of going to the office in the morning but it, I could cross my fingers and hope that by a divine intervention someone else will take her life but Based on my recent failures, I don't think that's likely anymore. Hey, who knows? If anyone else was ever involved in the deaths of corpse girls, victims, I don't think they'll still around. Why else would my last few attempts have failed? No, no, my best bet is to urge Kotomi to simply kill herself. A convincing enough corpse photo might be enough to lure her to her death. And from here, I think it's the best time to kind of end the episode here. So hope all you guys have a great, well of a time, and a great day too. Holy question, what they'll plan to do. So, I'll see you guys next time. What the fuck the fuck's gonna happen? Yeah. <laughs>